hello friends welcome to a new video about uh, sequence diagram so in this uh, video i'll be showing how to draw sequence diagrams very quickly and to modify them also very quickly and uh, you'll be able to even uh, draw bigger sequence diagram even if it is of very big lens uh, to great details and all the options will be shown so i'll be using plan to ml tool in this uh, intel j editor to do it i've already shown few details in my previous video i'm adding more uh, details in this video so to quickly add the tool you have to just go to help find actions you click type plugins you'll get plugin which all things you want to install you go to uml and you can see this plan to uml integration and click on install once if you install it will be installed then to create a new uh, plan to uml file you just go to file and select new you'll be getting this plan to uml option so once if you select this plan to uml uh, option you'll get a sequence so if you select a sequence and give a name okay just sequence you will get an uh, example here so let's me quickly delete this example so you can see on the right hand side you can see in a uh, 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 tool which automatically prints out whatever you want to do so firstly you have to add the start uml and end uml at the beginning and the ending of the file so in whatever in between this uh, two lines it will take uh, take it for the uh, drawing the diagram so firstly how do we draw the classes or whatever the nodes which you want to add in your class you can add by using participant uh, participant you say class a maybe we put it in double quotes class a as a so this uh, this uh, a will become the shorthand for rating for class a similarly you can add for class b and you can see on the right hand side automatically class b uh, sequence also will come out so now how to add the arrows or uh, the calls which you want to which we do in the sequence diagram using enterprise architect it is difficult so now you can even add one more class it will automatically will create it so let's move on to now adding callbacks so a to b we can add a call saying call call a function we can add even the parameters say something like int a or something int x which we call we will take for example now how do we add the callback we add a callback from b with the double arrows back to a so you will get this uh, callback function also in the background so you can say that this has this function has callback callback from callback to callback b from which we give and it can have an uh, return value or no return value whichever you want as an example void you can keep it or anything so now you came to know how to draw the call and callbacks here so next uh, additional thing you can uh, add is the alt block alt block will help to uh, add a, like uh, alternative paths uh, which you want like maybe we'll say error error case and then we have to add an end alt so that uh, it is like an if case uh, statement we want to add so again we can add callbacks here a to b call error case a something like this and we can add even b to uh, b to a callbacks similar uh, similar way uh, b to a callback in a similar case saying error case for b so now you you you, you can see how fastly we did this whole thing in enterprise architect or some other tool it would have been a really troublesome thing and even if you if you want to uh, if you want uh, something to be added again it is so easy you just uh, if you want to add new participant you can just copy paste the same thing and add class c and add class c here you'll get a class c directly there is no drag and drop and you want to just modify something that the callback goes from not b to c but the callback goes to from here to like a b to c you want to modify it is just changing the this thing there is no drag and drop of anything or any, anything which we do so similarly you can have even alt blocks within alt blocks just like uh, um, nesting if, if else case another say another uh, another 
alt block something like that and you can add if you add the end alt you will get that completion now you can see there is nested alt blocks within this and this alt blocks can be even compared with loop blocks so you can see it is you can keep track by end loop so you can see you can easily add a loop here and uh, alt blocks here and similarly you can even add uh, notes also like a note over something like a you can add and notes also then we'll add some note here something blah yeah blah something you'll get this note option here now you can quickly now okay you made a mistake that it is uh, over uh, it should be over b you can do it th this just this thing and it automatically moves the note moves to b or you want it over b and c together you just add b and c it becomes extended to this thing so it is very easy to do this uh, uh, to do this uh, over here so if any other things um, you, know, you want to know you can let me know in the comment section any other options which you want to add you can add even uh, different different kinds of uh, formatting to this also even the title something title something like yeah something you can just save so that all things options are there you can try out those things no so next to what you will do with this diagram you have to just uh, now you can press uh, copy this diagram to clipboard and you can paste it into your uh, project or something anything any of the ppt you just have to do a control v it comes in a beautiful way in this thing and you can st store it as a image also so the those thing those kind of things you can do in uh, this uh, plant to ml tool in intel j very easily so to keep in mind main things is just to add the participants for a shorter hand and you can uh, make the calls with an arrow and callbacks with an double dashed arrow and you can maintain a uh, loop or case with the uh, like if a st if else statement so if you want to learn more about this uh, sequence diagram please subscribe to the channel